All right, hi. So this is uh, seventh grade IXL L5 percents of numbers and money amounts. So this is fairly easy. This is the normal process that we experience at a store. For example, if you're buying a shirt and you get 20% off, this is how you end up calculating. So let's read the sentence as it is. And uh, if we were to translate it in normal English, this is what we would say. 60% of 85, which is also written as 60% of 85. Now, a few things that you need to know. Per is always refer referring to division. Similarly, out of, like in a test, I got 20 out of 25, right? So those are referring to division. Similarly, the term just off, like over here, is referring to multiplication. So if we wrote the sentence as it is, we see a per over here, right? So 60. Per is divide, cent is like 100 cents, off is multiply, and 85. And then we just solve this, uh, do the computation on our calculator, and we'll get our answer. So 60 divided by 100 times 85. So we get 51. Let's plug in 51. and we get a correct answer. Now, this is the same idea, 30% of 70. So 30 per, which means divide, cent is 100. Similarly, like in this question, uh, we have 30% of 70. So do the same thing, 30% of 70. Look for these keywords. These keywords will be definitive uh, in such a way that they can uh, help you solve the, the problem. So 30% per is this, and off is times. So you take 30% of 100. You can even write it as a fraction. So if I were, didn't have a calculator, I can do this and solve. What's three times seven? 21. So this is just a shortcut to your explanation. You're actually doing 30 times 70 and you're dividing it by 100. So 30 times 70 is 2100 divided by 100 is 21. So the math is behind, but you can use this canceling zeros method. That's the shortcut. It's not an explanation to what you're doing, but uh, it's just uh, an easy way to maybe use a shortcut if needed. All right, so now, we have the next IXL. So we have this, L6, percents of numbers, word problems. The lunch choices last Friday were mushroom or pepperoni pizza. The cafeteria made 60 pizzas in all. So that's your total, right? 90% of which were mushroom pizzas. How many mushroom pizzas did the cafeteria make? So basically the mushroom pizzas are 90% of the total. So again, remember per is division, off is multiply. So 90 per cent, so cent like 100 cents, off Cent actually is coming from the Latin word, centum. So, which means a hundred, right? Like century, all those words uh, come from uh, centum. The root is cent, centum. Okay, so 90 divided by a hundred, off is multiply, and the total is 60. So, we are actually finding 90 divided by a hundred times 60. So we can cancel these. We get 9 times 6, which is 54. Plug that in, and we'll get our answer. OK, let's try this one. At Quincy's uh, swimwear, 60% of the 65 swimsuit styles are bikinis. How many bikinis 
are there. So again, same thing. What are we doing here? 60% of 65. So 60 divided by 100 times 65. And you can solve the answer and you'll get through with it. Okay, let's try the next one, L7. Okay. So L7, solve percent equations. So now over here, I would use uh, sad map. Right? So it's the opposite of PEMDAS. Now, when do we use these? Only when we have equations. An equation always has an equal sign. So you see this equal sign, so therefore this is an equation. Now, we want to find out the box. Remember the keyword of is representing multiplication. So this is our equation if we write it mathematically. And then we can break this percent part, percent, which actually translates to divide by 100. So now we've got this box, divide by 100 times 36 is equal to 27. Now we'll use sad map. So we go through this order starting with S and going down. So the first thing we see is division. Now think the opposite. So if you see division, you multiply. Okay, so this would be my first step. So I'm writing this as it is, but I'm going to multiply 100 because it's being divided, and I'm multiplying on both sides. Okay, so this and this will cancel. And then I see a multiplication, the multiplied by 36. So that, I'm going to divide that value. So times 36 divided by 36 and then 27 times 100 divided by 36. So any number divided by itself is always one, right? So now you get 2700 divided by 36. So that's 75. So let's plug in 75 for our response. Awesome. Okay, now the positions have changed, so let's do the same thing, sad map. And in most of these cases, you'll see uh, division and multiplication, okay? So we have an equation, let me fill this again. And we'll need this part. So these are the two things we'll need. So let's write this. 30% of box is equal to three. So 30 divided by 100. We can always choose to write it as a fraction. It's up to you how you wanna write it. And then off is multiplication, box is equal to three, okay? So we see division, the first part, division of 100. So let's multiply 100 on both sides. So these two will cancel. Then we see a multiplication of 30. So we'll divide the 30 on both sides. So this will cancel. So finally we get our box. So we can solve this as we need. We can cancel the zeros. We could cancel this as one. So what's one times 10? 10. 10. So if we put in 10, I'll get my response. Okay. So try these, these are important questions. Uh, you live and use them in real life. Like, hey, I paid 10% of my salary goes in rent, for example, or something. Maybe 50% goes in rent. So people talk that way. Uh, businesses ideally talk in that regard or respect. So uh, our sales went up by 30%. Our uh, sales dropped by 30%. So you'll see that language if, uh, again, as I keep stating, it just depends on which job you guys end up, if you decide to get a job, then it depends which job you end up going for, where these terms will become uh, prevalent in the conversation, okay? Okay.
Okay, let's try the next one. L8, solve percent equations, word problems. The students in Judy's grade voted to select a guest speaker. 11 students voted for a famous athlete. The other 44 students in Judy's grade voted for a famous actor. What percentage of the students voted for the athlete? So in this case, we look for totals, right? So there are people who are voting for the athlete. So athlete is 11 students. And uh, for the actor is 44 students. So in total we have 55 students. Okay, so we want who all voted for the famous athlete. So 11 out of 55. So remember I said out of is also division. So your fraction will become 11 out of 55 times 100. We can cancel this five times and then 20 times. So let's put in 20%.